Hi everybody, welcome back. This is episode 2 of Let's Play Boss Constructor with me, Potato McWhiskey. Uh, we... I don't exactly remember where we left off because I kind of fiddled around with some menus and some sound settings in between episodes. But there was something I wanted to do just, you know, for the sake of uh, symmetry. I just wanted to move this piece up here. Uh, we could put this on here, but I actually, I don't know if this... Um, if we get the benefit from two of these. So I'm going to leave it off for now because we're already pretty heavy as far as ships go. Uh, even though we're quite maneuverable. I don't really want to put much more weight on here until we get more energy and engines. If I can help it, uh, we're already pretty strapped for energy as it is. And I think these controls are going to be okay. So let's jump right in to the next mission. So, uh, beating that mission unlocked a few more options for us, so let's have a look around. All these seem normal. This one is still hard, surprisingly. Module Trader, uh, nothing. Tech Lab. I think I would like to, maybe I'm going to bounce to these two missions and then hit the Module Trader, or maybe I'll do one more mission. Maybe I'll do one more mission and then hit the um, hit the module. I don't know why it veers off to the right like that. I'm gonna have to look at the options menu and see if there's like a setting I have set uh, that's causing that issue. So if I just zoom out a little bit, you can kind of see on the mini map where the enemy ships are. So I think I'm relatively safe to go and this area scan thing. Oh, sorry about that. That should not happen again because I have just turned it on silent. Let me just quickly turn that off. Okay. Sorry about that. I would restart, but you know, it's it's not worth it. Just for a quick little uh interruption like that. And we, uh, we're getting all these little scanning areas. I think we're going to be coming up to our first enemy. You can kind of see him over here. Yeah, there he is. Uh, it looks like he has some weapons and stuff. So we're going to see what we can do with regards to killing him. Uh, oops, accidentally all tabbed. That was a mistake, not intentional. Oh, okay, that's not good. Um, took a bit of damage there. Let's see if we can approach him from a less dangerous angle. I think it was a bit unexpected. I wasn't quite ready for such an aggressive response from the enemy. Uh, we might have to just charge him and do damage. Oh, he's stuck on the asteroid. Okay, he's into a gotcha. damage to him. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we have range on him. Ooh. 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 Okay. Remain calm. Stop spinning. Okay, we have you in our grapple. We managed to mostly avoid taking damage, although our grappling hook is actually taking some damage. So we're gonna drop him. Just shoot him from a distance. These guns are very, very expensive to fire. It's actually quite... You know what? I know it probably looks really easy. And I, I do this too when I'm watching other people play. Like, oh, come on, just hit on me, it's easy. But it's actually, you know, it's surprisingly... Um, surprisingly challenging to hit with this, because... Uh, it's a little bit goofy. This is like some sort of anti-weapon field? Ooh. Uh, I think my game crashed. I definitely think my game crashed. 
Um, no, it was just a lot of lag. Okay, we survived. Don't know what that was. Don't know how that's going to look on the video. But we're going to just roll with it. Uh, act like nothing happened. Okay, we got some stuff. Let's get this thing down here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, down here in the bottom right, is there a way to toggle select the shift up? Move camera. If I go down here. I don't know, does I get Oh, that's solar wind, okay. Ooh, avoid that asteroid. Okay, let's go back to auto. Oh, there's like an item. It's getting blown in the wind. No, come back! <laughs> Okay, we got oh, a rotating shield. That's really interesting. We actually have two of those. Uh, I'm kind of sad though because I don't, I don't think I have enough energy to. Um, I don't think I have enough energy to supply those. I mean, we're already you know maxing out our energy and we're not even at maximum speed. Uh, so, creates a floating shield plate which can absorb projectiles. Cool. I'd like to see how that works. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I could leave, because I have completed the primary objective, but I think, uh, oh, I can hide these things with these buttons. Very good. I think I'll keep them up, because it's nice to have them there. I, I know people who like watching, maybe you want to you know, glad them. Oh, what kind of ship is this? Oh, let me, before we engage, let's have a good look at it. So, I think, I think these are weapons, and they're attached to, like, rotating auto points. So, I wonder, if I was able to blow him in half, would he become, like, two ships? Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe. I don't know if the AI is equipped to handle that. I don't even know what he's going to potentially fire at us. But, I don't know, the AI... Oh, those are missiles. Those are definitely missiles. Uh, those are not good things. Okay, we've taken out a missile, so now we just... Get as much damage in. No, you're not going anywhere. I have you grappled. And then we just lay into him. Let him know who's boss. Can't go anywhere because we haven't grappled. See if we can take out. We can take out his modules. Aha! See if we can get. I don't. I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard if you. I heard if you, whoa! I heard if you kill the command module without killing the other stuff, you have a better chance of getting loot. I don't know if that's true. I'm going off like basically two paragraphs I read or, or, or uh, like two videos I watched. So some of the things I might say are going to be totally wrong. You're gonna have to bear with me a little bit on that front. I think this mission. I think we're only ten minutes into the video, so we're gonna maybe do another mission in this video and do a little bit of ship construction because we do have some armor now. No, no new engines though, which is kind of a problem because we are getting very heavy. But we might be able to do some reassigning. Oh. Subspace drive, module. Can I like... Oh, I can trade with these guys. And they do things that I don't fully understand. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah. These are things I don't understand. Uh, edit chip. Let's just. You know. Um. Now, unfortunately, I did get more ore containers. Although I'm considering taking one off because they're not particularly useful, and I could rotate it, pop it here. Uh, now I've saved you know a few kilotons of space, and my ship is lighter and stuff. Um, you know maybe I'll sell these because I don't seem to be doing a lot of mining. Ooh, a battery would be very useful. Like I think the battery would fit quite nicely here and then we could tuck these two modules in there. Uh, we have a missile launcher. So this 
this battery, I don't think it's really going to help us with our generation, but it'll be like in between combat, we, we'll be able to maintain maximum functionality for longer. Uh, now I'm tempted to put armor on here because I'm really interested to see, uh, like, actually here's an interesting question, can I put armor here huh. and here? So, yeah, those are things I can do. But what if I were to... See, the length of the grappling hook is a problem. I, you know, I'll pick... What if I were to do something like... Uh, rotate that. Put that there. Rotate that. No, stay there. And tuck these in a little bit. And then, oh, I don't. Do I not have enough? I don't have enough armor. So I could actually, what I could do is make this nice and compact. And then tuck this armor in. So that I have a little bit of leeway. Although, you know, I'm not sure if that's even any good. Uh, does that just make me heavier and worse at resisting? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see if we can get this guy here. So this does not like this. But it doesn't mind. It, it, it only cares if it occupies this space, right? Huh. That's very strange. What if I were to just see how do the rules for this work? Ah. Uh, uh, uh. So there's some sort of adjacency rule here that I don't fully understand, um, but we will figure it out through trial and error eventually. In the center of, I think this is my center of mass. I could be wrong. And then this is like, wait, is this? It might be center of thrust. And then is this center of mass? I don't know. Uh, I think, I'm not so sure the grappling hook is that useful, so I think we're going to take it off. Um, I'm going to take this armor off too. Uh, I really wish we had... Oh wait. Energy used. One gigawatt. They only use one gigawatt? That seems like super worth it. Right? Like... Do this? Shield bead... Oh, that weight is a problem. It means we're gonna like list and stuff. This is potentially, you know, not a terrible idea. Warning, invalid placement. Oh, there. Warning, invalid placement. Uh, grappling hook, fireball. I don't think a rotating missile launcher really matters. Does it? The grappling hook was actually nice for holding enemies in spot. Let's test this ship out. Automatic. Let's see if we can find an enemy right to this way. Yeah, here's one. Okay. We are very, very slow now. We're quite slow. Oh, that's really cool. These shields kind of they form a protective. Oh, that's awesome, actually. They're like little barriers to enemies shooting at me. Like this angle is weak. This angle, you know, it's like a good coverage. I might actually. Huh. This is like this is pretty good coverage from most angles, except for this angle. Like even here. Um, Protecting quite a bit. 
I might... I don't want to make the ship wider. I think this is okay. I'm not going to be getting shot in the back very often. Yeah, let's go that grass hole. Come here. I can, like, manhandle enemies. Rotate around. Nice, okay. Alright, I'm happy with this. Let's go back to the editor. Are there any more parts I want to put on here? Uh, you know, just for the sake of completeness. I should put some... No, I didn't want to grab that one. I want to grab that. Put a little bit of armor here. Makes us heavier, but we're, we don't have enough energy to go maximum speed anyway, so I don't think it actually makes a huge difference. Then we'll just, like... I have a bit of a problem with my rotational keys at the moment in that they are used for another very important set of hotkeys, so I can't really use them uh, at the moment. But now I have like a rear rear mounted thing. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's useful. Really just kind of figuring things out as we go. Um, I've got a battery now, which helps with things. How do I... Oh, I can... These can't be turned on and off. So, can it be deactivated? How much energy do we need? Four gigawatts? Good. I mean, we're getting kind of... We're getting kind of ahead of ourselves, like, tech-wise on our ship. Though we do have, potentially, a very, very good ship. Oh, you can't shoot through these! Oh! That's better, like, protecting unweaponized areas. Where these rotational guys are good for protecting your weapon. Ah, okay. So we kind of we figured something out. We're gonna get rid of this just because I don't think we have the energy to really run it. In fact, I don't really think we have the energy to run these things. But I feel like we kind of need to. I could be wrong. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna just do another mission. Get knock this mission out. There's a module trader here. So we're going to do this mission. I don't know why it veers off to the side like that every time I start a mission. I really, really need to have a look. Escort allied to gate. We need to have a look at what's causing that. Yeah, look at how slow we are. We seriously have energy problems. Well, the ship looks pretty cool. I don't think it has any weapons though. Gate. Where is the gate? Oh, the gate's all the way over here. Huh. There's an enemy here. We have to destroy freighters. Are we going for the solar wind? That's pretty clever if you're a slow ship. I don't actually know what this stuff is called. It's like, I'm guessing it's like space wind. I'm waiting for him. I guess that, I mean, I just go kill the thing that's in the way. Maybe that makes it easier? Okay, so I don't know what we're up against here. I do know we're out of range. Let's see if we can do some damage. I think this is actually another freighter. Maybe? Yeah, it looks similar to our ally. Oh, they've got repair drones. You see those little dudes flying around. Can I chase you down? Grapple. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Die, 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 die. Okay, got him. He's grappled. Grappled. Okay. He can't escape. Ooh, he blew up a weapon. That bad news. Ooh. 
Ah. Uh, wait for energy. Go. Wait, why can't I grab you? Um. Yeah, we have serious energy problems. We need like. I'm surprised we didn't get our fireball back. Um, but you know, no big deal. Ooh, you can grab that. No, I didn't want to grab that. Yeah. Nope. If we can grab. Yeah. Okay. Let's get all that command module. Nice. We got, oh, we got solar panels and propulsion rockets. Great. Should be able to improve our ship quite a bit with that. Um, hmm. Escort allies to gate. So we did all the objectives. We may as well just hit these asteroids because they're on the way. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't space in this ship. So play it quite safe. Are you gonna lose? But the the thing I learned on this mission is you can lose parts on your ship pretty easily. Um, I know. I think, I think it was the last mission. I, I did like a rotation thing to spread the damage out. I think that's actually maybe maybe that's a good idea because it seems like stuff dies pretty quick. And this is normal difficulty. I imagine if you're playing on like one of the harder difficulties, it's gonna be a lot, a lot harder. Oh, I could have gone to the trader. Oh, my. Uh, yeah. My bad. Whoops. 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 Um, I think. I could just, ah, okay, okay, spell module. Let's figure out first. Is there anything yeah, like we want to keep extended range fireball? I think we want to put a new fireball here. And we've got this solar panel that we want to put on our ship, and a propulsion rocket that we want to put on our ship. I think. Uh, um, short range. Fire, fragile shield, fragile fireball, slow fireball. Not really too thrilled about these red guys. Uh, ooh, a scouting rocket. That's interesting. What's its range? Its weapon range is 200 meters. Hmm. That seems like it'd be more of a defensive weapon on a smaller ship. But we did get another repair ball. We're going to want to put that on the ship. How expensive is that energy wise? One gig away. But well, we're getting another two, so we're we're getting some benefits there. Um, I can slot this in actually. This makes my ship design a little bit complicated. I think the grappling hook was ah, it's so it's really nice though. I can't just get rid of it, can I? Can I move you somewhere? No, I need symmetry. I have a problem here. With regards to how I'm going to lay this out, unless I go back to a different ship design, which I might just do. I might just go. Oh, I could actually just go into space, explore. Ah, uh... no, that doesn't work. Um. I don't want to just stick it on the ship because I don't feel like that's a good idea. So let's redesign. Ah, uh, no, I can't redesign because I have this. These things are all important. Hmm. <laughs> this is difficult. And there's like a very specific amount of weight that I need to hold. Ah, why didn't I get two of them? I need to put it somewhere though, because I need the energy really, really badly. Hmm. Oh, maybe I could buy one. Maybe I could buy another exploration. Oh, I need to. 
Or the different guys. Maybe I could get another uh, solar panel and a oh, crap. Oh, I mean, where hacking module fires a combat? I think it's ridiculous. I have to confirm if I can fix it. Oh, I'm going to need some of those eventually. Reinforced Titan armor, light Titan armor, light is fine. Very cool, very cool. Propulsion rocket. I'm gonna want another one of those. Using this one. These are the same, so I have them now. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell. No. Oh, I need this energy. I think I take the hit points. I don't want to take efficiency. Okay, so. Relates and relief by the very strong acceleration for a short time. Makes the ship invulnerable for a turn. Oh, that's interesting. Some pretty interesting mechanics here. I think, though, I'm gonna grab this fragile solar panel. And I have a lot of money. Wow. Uh, I would like those, but those are very expensive energy wise. Could. Yeah, I could get two in official. Yeah, we just we we have energy problems on our ship right now, as it stands. But let's do a flight. We are going to get these panels. Fragile. I don't like the fragile one being there, so I do. I don't mind the inefficient one. Being there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these, rotate it, and hide some of this fragile one behind some stuff. Maybe stick like I don't know, a piece of armor. We're gonna get like two pieces of armor and stick it in there. Uh, let me move the entire ship forward a little bit. Let's just double check how much time we spent on this episode. Oh, we spent quite a bit of time on those two missions. So, I think, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a cut in the um, recording and figure out what our next move is because we have more engines that we can put onto the ship. And it's getting kind of long, so we might want to think about side weapons. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to finish designing this ship in the next episode. But thank you for watching. Uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.